uh, I'm Scott, just a <coughs> little comparison video really today. So obviously, Brewdog have um, changed their branding and they've brought out this new hazy um, family of beers. So you've got alcohol free, um, the new hazy Jane that's um, 5%, uh, this, which is the original OG hazy, um, which is apparently the old hazy Jane, but just in a different can. And they're bringing out a triple hazy, which I believe is 9.5%, which I'm actually quite interested in. The other ones ain't doing it for me, really. I don't get the whole concept of the, the hazy, hazy family, if I'm honest. But what I'm interested in is Brewdog is saying that this beer is exactly the same as this beer. So it's just been rebadged. Um, so I'm interested in to see exactly that is it still the same beer now for me i know it divides opinion on, on little bits of pieces but i've always been quite a fan of hazy jane it's um 440 mil 7.2 percent abv and has always been half decent um had a can of this last week um and wasn't impressed so which gave me the idea to go and get an old cut so this one is um Best before, so there's a year on it, so it should be fairly, fairly new. And this has got a year on it as well. So hopefully it's the same bit. Let's have a look, let's get one out. We'll get the, um, the original Hazy Jane out first and see what's going on with that. Get a nice, um, Tropical aroma, even from this from this distance, from memory, juicy, hoppy, um, everything you want from a New England IPA um, at a decent price mark of three quid. So that's the original, and this is now the the OG. So on looks, original Hazy Jane, this new OG Hazy Jane, up to the light, this one's a lot thinner, hell of a lot thinner. This one looks creamier, I don't know if you're going to get that in the light, but they are very, very different against the light the, the new OG is hazy but there is some light getting through that whereas on the the old original hazy Jane there's nothing so the bodies of the beer is looks completely different <coughs> let's get the aroma Yeah, tropical bomb. Uh, grapefruit, mango, passion fruit, a um, little bit of orange, nice citrusy notes in there. Yeah, it smells, smells decent. So the, the bodies are very, very different. Heads on them, it's a lighter head on the newer version. Similar sort of head. I'm not picking up any of the there's a little bit of the tropical notes, but there's nowhere near as much as the older version. It's very subtle, very light. Up your nose. Yeah. It's a different, it's a different, it's a different brew. <coughs> Let's go for the body and the taste.
nicely carbonated. A nice, nice hot bitterness in there. Um, you, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't hot the, the the ABV's there, but it's um, it's not punch your face. Um, nice tropical flavours that match the aromas. Um, grapefruit, passion fruit, um, pineapple, really nice. And a nice bit in this in there. Um, that's decent enough. Let's go to this OG thing. Mouth feels completely different. As you can still see in the bodies. I'm hoping you can see this. Completely different beer. Um, it's quite a. Uh, you swap them round, you can see the difference in the light of the two beers. Um, it's got an astringent bit bitterness to that. It's um, it's not coming from the hops. You're not getting much of the old um, the of the old tropical notes from there. That is not that. It's a completely different beer. Um, 7.2%. They've lost all the, um, as my friend Dean would call it, the Bible of bullshit. Um, <coughs> nice. Won't be buying that. It's, um, that's not Hazy Jane. It's a completely different beast of a beer. The body's different, the, um, <coughs> the flavour profile's different. Um, there's a hot, quite a nasty bitterness that's not coming, it's not a hot bitterness. There's a stringent bitterness. There's not a bigger um, champion of Brewdog than me, um, but they're losing it. And um, that, gone, by my neck. So that's the Hazy Jane I want, not that one. Um, have a look, go and try it for yourself, if you can get hold of both cans it's worth, um, prove me wrong, prove, prove me wrong, I'm open for a debate on this, um, that ain't good enough, it's not Hazy Jane, I don't know if I'm going to try the 5%, I'm interested in the in the uh, the 9.5%, that's, that's worth looking at, um, but they've, Brewdog have ruined a, one of their decent core beers for me, that's, um, it's not, no, I'm not having it. Um, like, share, subscribe. Um, this is just a one-off. Bond is usually with me now, um, but I was interested to see how this one would come across. Um, yeah, it's terrible. Um, Said. Oh wait. Anyway, yeah, like, share, subscribe. Comment down below if um, if you try them. Um, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.